Hello YouTube! It is Groovy Mom here and I am going to make a simple breakfast. Um, that's it. So this is my first time shooting, cooking, and everything else. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do uh, that I don't know if other people do or don't do but I like to have coffee and I use one of these uh, Melita I think it's pronounced pour overs and I, sometimes I get fancy sometimes I get lazy today is kind of lazy this is actually my second cup of coffee that's what I usually have is two my first one I'll have um, while I'm doing my reading or devotionals and I usually have some cream in that and then the second one I just have black um, and so this is kind of a lazy pour over I'm just pouring over I'm not stirring or doing anything fancy with it uh, <clears throat> if I want a good cup like if I'm just having one cup and I want a really good cup I'll sometimes do that or I'll freshly grind the coffee um, and put it in here and stir it to get the flavor all mixed up but this is my second cup and I'm trying to videotape it and everything so I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself <laughs> um, so anyway, and I also, you, the, for any big coffee stud out there, yep, I got the too big filter. I think this is supposed to take a number two and I got four, but I wasn't going to return it. I was just going to use it. And actually, I kind of like this bigger filter because I, I get sloppy sometimes and um, I don't know. It just seems it, it's cleaner. So anyway, so I have my electric kettle that I heat my water up in. Uh, I've used different methods like stovetop before, but what the rest of the family uses is a percolator, and we've been using that for a while. This one is Hamilton Beach, and it's on the fritz. It'll cycle through, and then it'll start cycling again. But what I don't like with almost any coffee maker is I can easily taste the burn. So once this brews through, and the green light's on, and it's done brewing my husband likes to leave it on so it stays hot because he'll drink you know coffee throughout the morning and sometimes later um but i taste the burn in it i can i can just taste it so i just started going to this baby i did stand in line for a free keurig um a while ago i don't remember how long ago it was now and got that and i used that for a little while but uh, yeah yeah, I started making my own pods and everything because I didn't really like the plastic, although this is plastic, so yeah, what do you do? And I just kind of eyeball it. Sometimes I run over, um, but usually I'm pretty on, pretty on the nose. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that there and then go back to my egg. And I'm making, this is a very, very, very simple breakfast. Um, this is something that, I mean, it's just egg and toast, so super simple. But um, what I found in watching YouTube videos, oh dear goodness, this is probably just going to be way too close up and I'm not going to like it. Okay, so what I found in watching the YouTube videos is that I like to watch people cook because it's kind of like I'm cooking alongside them even if I'm not. So I can see like what methods people use or, you know, something different, maybe pick up something. Ugh, this is not a good angle, but I don't care, whatever. Um, so I like to watch those cooking things. <clears throat> I know, um, you can watch cooking shows online, but I like the YouTube ones because I feel like they're more candid. They're in real kitchens. I mean, you can see, oh, I don't want to show you too much, but I mean, I need to paint these. These have been, <laughs> these have been primed for longer than I'd like to mention, and I need to paint them. My mom actually primed them for me because she likes to paint. And then she moved. Not too far away, but far enough where she's not coming over to paint. So that's one of my projects, and hopefully, eventually, I'll get there and I'll make a video about it. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so I, I like to watch it. I've been watching the, I've been watching people cook and enjoying that, and so I'd like to do my own channel and um, do the same thing. And maybe we'll bore people to death. Maybe not. We'll see. But anyway, so I used to eat a lot of eggs and toast when I was young. That's what my mom made. We always had breakfast. Always ate it at the table. My parents always had coffee brewing. Um, usually breakfast was, you know, a piece of toast and peanut butter or peanut butter and jelly or 
a bowl of cereal or an egg and toast. And egg and toast like to be sunny side up so you can dip the toast in the egg. Best thing in the world. All right, so here we go. Just hope I'm not filming this whole thing upside down. Oops. All right, so I have a gas stove. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gas on to about five. And I use all iron skillets. I have some stainless steel um, uh, saucepans that I use, or you know, but all of my skillets are stainless steel. All right. My goodness. All of my skillets are iron skillets. Those are my favorite. Uh, and I'm going to use olive oil today. <laughs> this is my little olive oil container. <laughs> It's an old Heinz vinegar bottle, but they're nice bottles, and it's a good good size, fits in the hand nice, it's not too heavy. Here, whoops. <clears throat> Here's one that's full. So this is the big one uh, with the vinegar, and I this is, again, it's just the bottle, actually. I buy the big jugs because they're the cheapest, and I just refill this bottle. Um, but that's what I've kept my oil in. It's funny, the things that you do without thinking about it and then they just become part of you. So I <laughs> I started that a while ago and here you know here I've still got my olive oil in there. Nothing fancy. I did buy a fancy olive oil thing with one of those little spigots on it. Didn't even use it. Uh, so anyway I have an egg. <clears throat> Usually I get my eggs from Costco but it's been cold out and I haven't been going anywhere. So I think this is from Quick Trip, which I love. Quick Trip, I love it. All of our PDQs here um, in Wisconsin turned over to Quick Trips, and I am through the moon. Anyway, there's my egg. I'm gonna step over here and wash my hands real quick because that's the same thing to do after you crack an egg. Um. I also crack my eggs with one hand. I can't crack it with two, so I don't know. Anybody else out there like that? I think my brother is the one that started me on that. And I don't know why I just continued. So, I'm going to step over here and get my handy dandy thing. I think people use this for fish. I don't know. I like it to flip. We're going to see if I get to flip this and it's not going to break. So, oh, coffee's done. Yeah! Coffee's done. Oh, oh la la. You know you got your eggs going, what makes that sound, right? Okay, so I'm going to put a little, little bit of salt. I've been using that Himalayan pink salt for quite a while now. I don't know if anybody else uses it. I think there's some health benefits. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get that going. And then while that's in there, I am going to get my bread on. This is Earth Friendly. It's one of my favorite breads. I get it here at Woodman's. Um, gosh, it's been on sale for two for three dollars. Um, I think I bought this there two for five now. But I've gone there and they haven't had it, so I bought four of them and stocked up. So I'm going to pop that in the toaster. But it's really good bread. It's, um, I, I buy brown berries sometimes. My absolute favorite is the one from Costco. That's the best toasting bread. Not very good for sandwiches. But uh, i got to flip this puppy soon. But you can see the ingredients are solid. Like it's a good bread. 100% uh, crushed whole wheat, water, uh, unbleached wheat flour, honey, yeast, soybean oil, wheat gluten, mm -hmm, salt, and vinegar. That's it. But it's from Panagold Baking Company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, looks like maybe they have something in Sun Prairie and Fargo, too. But anyway, uh, if you ever get a chance to try that bread and you like wheat bread, like I do, then BAM! Get you some. Alright, so there goes the egg. I'm babbling, and so it's a little more cooked than I'd like to. Um, I still have my I still have my pan at about 4 or 5 right now. Just maybe a little bit hot. I'm going to get a plate because this is going to get farther than I want. Alright, I got me my plate! And my toaster is going in the background back here. And Wheezy <laughs> is gone. He wants to go outside. You don't even know Wheezy. It is not the best out. 
anyway, so I'm going to remove the skillet and then I'm going to put this here so you can so you can just look at it. Just look at that. Look at that egg. I can see a little wiggle in there. So I know that I'm going to get some yolk. I didn't break it. Hallelujah! Which is wonderful. Let me get my forky forks. One thing I can tell you that I love to do is I love to shop at thrift stores for plates. I do not have matching plate sets. I like the smaller plates. I think they're salad plates, maybe dessert plates. I'm going to let my dog out before he has a heart attack. Okay. So anyway, so I got I got this at the at, I don't know Goodwill or St. Denis. I got I get my forks there because they're like cheap, inexpensive. And if you you know check them out, you got stainless steel. You can get good quality stuff for cheap. But anyway, I was saying I like these small plates. I don't like um, the big actual dinner plates. I I think I started using them when the kids were little, um, and then I just kept using them because I just I like them better. Uh, I don't know, they just seem to fit your food well, and I think the smaller plate you uh, use, then you eat a little bit less, um, which is a concern, because some of us have a little bit of a weight problem. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, <sighs> I cracked myself up. Alright, so I'm waiting on that toast to be done, and when we talk about toast, I like my toast, toast. Like, I want toast. I want it crunchy. Um, not lightly done. So, oop, there goes the toaster. Going to get my knife. So, like this. This is maybe even a little lighter than I like. Um, so, and my butter's a little colder than I like. Gosh, I, nothing, well, okay, there are things that bug me more, but I hate going out to restaurants and they give you a cold pad of butter. Oh my goodness, that's like pet peeve time when I get a cold pat of butter. Uh, that's kind of like, oh, this is, look at it's massacring my poor toast. Okay, so there's breakfast. I mean, that's it. And this is butter. I don't use that margarine stuff. Don't like it. Don't use it. And I once I take a stick out, like once we're using it, I just put it on the counter. I'm not sure. I, I, it's never gotten us sick. Maybe it's improved our... Uh, digestive system. I don't know. But I just keep my butter dish on the counter because again I hate that butter when it's uh when it's all ugh hard. Anyway, um so butter in a dish. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Do 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 this is the best part. <gasps> Look at that. That can I even can I zoom in on that? That is that is straight up food porn. That is naughty, 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 naughty. Look how naughty that is. It's a naughty boy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is the best. That, that, if I could just get that and eat it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, that is naughtiness. Mmm, 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 mmm. Best thing in the world, I swear. Well, one of the best things. Anyway, so I mean, what do you estimate that would cost? A piece of bread? It's probably five cents. I don't know. I'd have to do the math. I'll do the math and I'll put it up there. An egg, a little bit of olive oil, whatever. And then a cup of coffee. And, I mean, it's not going to keep you burning forever, but, um... But it's good, and it's inexpensive, and it's easy, and it's delicious. Delicious. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to hit this naughty egg again. My camera's going crazy. My dog wants to come in from the uh, polar vortex. And that is it. So hopefully you come back and watch some more. Uh, Groovy Mom, it is. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Um... Hope to see you again soon. All right. Bye-bye.